What are you cooking, Ravi? Mm, some fish pasta. Our new dinghy and trolling motor were allowing for plenty of afternoon fishing. Like a creamy, cheesy fish pasta. The delicate little pompano fillets are great with a little bit of salt and pepper in the pan. Mm. for now. But Robbie was looking to add a little more to this meal. Creamy pasta sauce requires diced onion, diced garlic, and whatever little chili is available. We also had some great fresh oregano from our friends who picked it up from the local market. With the onions and herbs sizzling in the pan, Robbie grated the cheese and got the water boiling. Lots of pepper and lots of heavy cream which is unfortunately very easy to find in cans or tetra packs here in Mexico. The cream is often so heavy that adding water is a must. It all comes together once the pasta is boiled, cheese is melted and green onions are added for taste and garnish. We invited friends aboard to help us tackle this at least, we calculated, 15,000 calorie pot of pasta. Speaking of overindulgence, tonight was another evening of Carnival. This nightly occurrence had been going on for several days, and still had several nights left. It was hard to ignore the sounds of six live music stages broadcasting full volume all night in the Anchorage. If you can't beat them, join them. <laughs> Drink vendors, food vendors, glorious taco stands were out on the street in full force. We were being given a taste of all the musical styles that are in vogue here in Baja, California. We discovered all the novelty knickknacks at this event too. But it truly felt like a carnival because of the classic games. classic carnival rides that I didn't dare to ride. The two last evenings of the carnival had parades. We launched the drone to watch from above. 
but the true fun was to be had at street level. We tried a couple of the desserts. The pancakes with Nutella were okay, but my favorite were the churros. Amidst all the heavy fried foods was a little glimmer of modest refreshment to aid digestion. Ready to go home? Yep, yep. Noelia aboard SV My 10 wanted to properly introduce us to Gerba Mate. She told me that Gerba refers to the tea leaves, and that the drink originates from Paraguay. The, the, the water for the mate should be no more than 80 degrees. No boiling water. This is a kind of squash, and, yeah. and you use only the top. They grow them in Argentina just for this. What is the squash called? We call mate to this, but mate is all, all thing, no? When we started seeing the bubbles, before the water comes to a complete boil, it was ready. We move it like this, so the... Look, how do you say this? Um, the powder. The powder get down and the biggest pieces of, of leaves is up. Yes. Tincho and Noelia have a dedicated teapot on board just for keeping the water at the right temperature. Um, and I'm, in this case, I move it for one side, like this. She adds the hot water to the little bit of cold water to really make sure that there's no burning of the leaves, which would make it bitter. The straw is also an important piece of the puzzle for enjoying the beverage properly. It's a handcraft from, from my town, El Bolson, from the market. You can clean it with this. You take it, you wash it on the top, and then you put, that, put it again. And then I come and look at his fishing books. <laughs> Everybody has a... This is our technique. I mean, some yeah, other people no. make it different, maybe. No. So what do you think about the, the, <laughs> the yerba mate in the, uh, in the can? I always, I've seen it in the can, like, in California. Oof. That is, uh, how do you say, sacrilegio. A sacrilegious <laughs> form. <laughs> We all shared the drink, although it was not quite Robbie's cup of tea. But I thought it was one of the best teas I've ever tasted. And how many times do you think can we add hot water? Eight, ten mm -hmm. times. You ten. move the straw. Yes, you, you move it a little bit. You Dig know. it in there. Yes. <laughs> move the straw around. It's not something easily found here in Baja, California. And so I'll have to wait until we see our friends again to enjoy such a distinct tea. Mm. <laughs> mm. <laughs> if we don't catch fish, all you have to do is boil the kettle of water 
to rehydrate the TVP. Textured soy protein is easygoing, non-perishable that I like to call our fake meat. It's all about making sure you have something tasty to marinate it in. In this case, a sweet chili sauce, starting with oil, crushed red chilies, vinegar, sugar, and fresh garlic or garlic powder. Mix it, simmer, and then add the TVP. Meanwhile, I'm boiling the pot of water to make really simple soup. Fresh or powdered onion and garlic, and salt when the water comes to a boil. We had some green onions on board that keep well even without a refrigerator, although you have to trim off all the dried shoots. Rice, egg, or whatever noodle you can find. And then add the green onions briefly. I like to fry this sweet chili TVP until it's almost crispy. A great topper for the soup, or any noodle dish, pasta or rice. The rumor of our taking some crew along to cross the Sea of Cortez turned into a reality when we stuffed my own bicycle and two others into the portside berth under the cockpit. We started making our way out of the harbor. We were getting to know our new crewmates, who were usually cyclists. Hey! So we have Tomas. 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 Oh, Tomas. Hello, Christian. Verde. <laughs> green man. Green man. I've started biking up north Alaska and the idea is going south Argentina, Ushuaia. I'm from Alaska, I start in Anchorage. Uh, I'm going to Ushuaia. I'm sorry, but I feel a little sick. <laughs> that's okay. It's pretty bumpy. Yeah, I'm cyclist, no marine. I think that cyclists and sailors have many things in common. So it makes sense yeah. that you guys are coming on along for the ride. This should be more or less how the boat should move and the wind we should have to cross like about three more like this. Okay? Yeah. The wind is supposed to pick up tonight and, and then all day, all day tomorrow. So we're not gonna cross until after tomorrow. Yeah. We want it to be comfortable or we somewhat comfortable. I didn't find Christian to be sick the whole trip. <laughs> So hopefully it's something like this. It's quite pleasant right now. Yep. We're passing through the channel, Lorenzo. Canal de San Lorenzo. Canal de San Lorenzo. We're heavily laden, but she's still going pretty well. There's somebody else driving our boat right now. If you're feeling really bad, you take another one. But if you're feeling... No, I'm okay. No, no, yeah. no, no, I just took it with friends. <laughs> mm -hmm. I don't have we a girlfriend. Oh. No, we'll be if but we if keep you find speed. someone here... Yeah, sure. <laughs> Find a mermaid, I'll fish it out for you. Which part? You want the fish on top and the lady in the bottom, or you want the fish? <laughs> you want the lady on Middle top. Middle <laughs> We don't have solid dates, and we don't. We're trying not to rush. But Ravi's new lure is dragging us down, man. That thing's heavy. <laughs> 